Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Subaru. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Trilobite Easy Cut with the Flexi Pouch to be specific. So I imagine everybody knows the, uh, the Trilobite, very, very effective and safe line cutter. There's no pointy edges. Uh, the blades themselves are pretty protected. So you're very you have a low likelihood of cutting or damaging yourself or your own equipment. But if you do want to cut through something like rope, a relatively thin rope, I think it has to be about 10 mil to fit through that gap. Fishing line, no problem whatsoever. Webbing to get your buddy out of their gear, very, very quick and effective. When it's got the flexi pouch, it just gives you a bit more mounting options. You can fit it almost wherever you want to. Let's take a closer look. This is how they arrive um, in kind of a, a Ziploc bag. Uh, I mean, it's plastic, but hey, such is life. Um, yeah, the first cutting tool choice uh, for scuba divers, ergonomically designed to provide the cleanest, sharpest, and most effortless cutting action available. Uh, two spare blades and sheath included. It's the flexi pouch, uh, and just more information about it on the back. Opening it up. So we get the uh, the trilobite with the uh, with the flexi pouch, uh, and then this is your spare blades. They come in a uh, in a sort of a plastic protective case. Uh, if you put like a one of those small carabiners through that, it stops it from opening. Um, but you just slide it off, and you get a pair of these uh, these stainless steel blades. So that's quite useful. Stainless steel, it will rust over time, especially if you don't care for them. Uh, so a couple of spares is always handy just to keep it clean. Then we have the trilobite itself. Um, most of you, if you're watching this video, you probably you probably know how good this is at, uh, at cutting through various lines, so I won't show you, but it basically, it protects the blade, so you can't really get your finger in there unless you've got very dainty fingers, but if you can get it in that group or in that gap, you can cut through it. And because it kind of restricts the flow as it goes in, the more you put in and rotate, it just sort of pushes it against that razor blade and it cuts through it really quick. Two Phillips screws, so that's how you can separate the two separate parts and swap over that blade. Uh, and then you just get this section here, which has got that Velcro on it. Uh, and you can also use that as a bit of a handle just to hold onto it, control it as you're cutting through things. The flexi pouch uh, gives you plenty of options. It's basically just a section of about three, maybe, f yeah, probably about three mil neoprene. And you just have a section of Velcro that sticks to itself. So you can put it pretty much wherever you want on a strap, whether it's on your shoulder, on your waistband, uh, just kind of wherever you want it to be. If you don't want to sort of thread it through the, the traditional uh, webbing of the, uh, of the sheath, then you have this neoprene one, which is a bit more flexible. It's very soft, so it can go against bare skin. And uh, the neoprene itself is quite squidgy as well, so it's quite comfortable. And then you get that section of Velcro on the outside, which is what's going to lock it in position and hold it down so the knife itself doesn't go anywhere, but you can still deploy it really quickly and easily. And that's the Trilobite Easy Cut with Flexi Pouch. Definitely very, very popular cutting device with most scuba divers. Uh, we kind of gone are the days of the, the huge, big, like Rambo type knives. Don't really go in for that anymore. Uh, just a nice, small, compact, lightweight little line cutter. It's much safer. It's very effective at cutting through most of the obstacles that we come across, especially fishing gear. Um, so definitely worth checking out. There's going to be a link down in the description below so you can take a look and buy it as well. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.